What made you straight up nope out of a relationship? How about things that should have been red flags but I was too naive to recognize? Left notes on my car windshield when I was at work slash a friend's house slash the store, seemed sweet, but I realized later that was my so keeping tabs on me, even when I didn't say where I was. Let me know how much a hitman cost and that it was, cheaper than you'd expect. Would tell me something, and then later say that was a lie or a test, as though I should have figured that out instead of expecting the truth. Expected me to answer every call, and would get angry if I wanted to end the call first. Complained about my friends and family all the time. All of them. Apparently everyone I knew was manipulative and slash or rude. I didn't figure out this was an attempt to isolate me until after we broke up. I kept having to call the cops to calm down my wife after she became addicted to a slew of prescription drugs. I told her doctors that opiates for AA ruptured vertebrae, stimulants for ADHD, Ambien most nights to help her sleep and an assortment of others for anxiety and depression, and more to combat side effects, made her violent. One of the times that I called the cops to calm the situation down during a bad episode just made me cry. All he had to say was that he had already been there, and asked when it would stop. I thought I'd been holding things together reasonably well. I had an office job where no one knew what was up, though my work had suffered greatly. I kept clothes and food in my trunk, just in case I had to stay out for a bit because she had decided I was part of the conspiracy. I had a gym on the way to work I could wear I could shower or just have some downtime. I did all of our housework and errands, because she couldn't work or do much of anything most of the time. Each time she cut herself she told the hospital it was an accident, and she always tried to go to a different one. We lived in a major metro, between hospitals. The cops saw through it. Being seen like that and knowing that even that lifestyle was running out her. I'm now recovering from the divorce and enjoying the calm. I still sometimes panic for no reason, and I feel more comfortable with clothes and food stashed in the trunk, but I feel much healthier. I get more sleep. My blood pressure has normalized, for the most part. I don't cry at work anymore. I've been there 7 years with a former Iraq medic with bipolar type 2. It hurt because I loved the person inside the shit so much. But the shit was just too deep. I tried to help he would sabotage the help. I eventually found out he lied to therapist for 5 years making up a entire different childhood school life ECT so it looked like he was working on issues without facing the real ones. I left after he asked for gas money and it offered to go fill up the tank, relapsed heroin addict and kept threatening to kill himself. He stalked me for two months. Then moved on for a few months then killed himself. It was so hard not to blame it on myself. But I did everything I could for them at some point they had to try to. Hugs if you need to vent. I received a message that clearly wasn't meant for me. We just had our first date which went really well. Calling me cheap and a slimeball and how I'm on my last last chance to make things right on her coming in birthday with lots of presents. I replied hi this is X, we just met and had one date, was that message for someone else? She replied pretending to be her 12 year old sister. Then apparently her dad messaged me with how he's told off his younger daughter. I'm out, fuck that shit rolling on the floor laughing. Wouldn't really call it a relationship as it was only 3 dates, but I had met this girl at a wedding. She was a friend of a friend and we shared numbers that night. Texted for a while and then had a date. First date was probably a big red flag, but I shrugged it off. We had connected on Facebook and she noticed that she went to college with a girl I went to high school with. No big deal, until I found out she had been messaging that girl and asking her all these questions about me in high school, who did I date, what car I drove, etc. Anyway, Third date rolls around I wasn't really sure how long we would be together so typically I wouldn't have taken her to a really nice restaurant so early in a relationship, but I was in the mood for steak so I took her to a pretty high-end steakhouse. I have never been more embarrassed by someone's behavior in public in my life, and I have a 6 and 3 year old at home now. She sent 3 martinis back because they weren't made correctly while being extremely insulting and rude about it. She ordered a steak medium and then got pissed because she insisted she ordered it medium rare. Both the waiter and I told her she had ordered medium. She was making comments about what other women in the restaurant were wearing, and not very subtly. Then, despite me trying to get out of there without buy her dessert, 
she got a dessert menu and expected them to make her something that they didn't have on the menu. They had cheesecake and she wanted chocolate cheesecake. Another outburst at the staff. On the way out the door she made a point to stop and complain to someone loud enough other customers could hear. When we got into my car I was so embarrassed I pretended I had left my credit card on the table so I could go back in. I gave the waiter an extra $20 and apologized, telling him I was dumping her as soon as I got to her place. He laughed and told me he wished he could see it. I didn't really give her a chance to say much. She called me a loser and stormed off. Haven't seen or heard from her since. Met a girl on Tinder, we went for a coffee date. Shared some of the same music tastes. She lets me know that one of them is playing at a local club on Friday. I suggest we go together and do dinner before. Friday comes, we do a late sushi dinner and head to this club around 10 for the show. Headliner, who we wanted to see, went on around midnight. Get to the club, finally get to the bar and order drinks then head to the dance floor. She pounds the drink and says she is getting another drink. She comes back few minute later with a new drink gives me a kiss on the cheek and wanders off on the dance floor. I am not someone who is overly possessive and figure my wanting to be in the back to get a full visual and auditory experience is not her jam. All good. 20 minutes later I see her grinding on some dude. Now mentally, I am already back at my car but I want to see what happens when she makes eye contact with me. They start making out and the guy notices me eyeballing them. She wanders off to get another drink and he comes up to me asking if I have a problem. I explain the situation and he says something to the extent of sucks bro, she is with me now. Fuck off. Took his advice and did. Called up a friend and went to his house and played Caden till 2ish. Then my phone rings. It's 2.30 a and she is calling me asking where I went, my car was missing from the parking lot. I told her I went home and she was on her own to find a ride. I bet that guy you were making out with could give you a ride, to which she responded with which one, we kissed once, made out zero times. I laughed, hung up, and rolled for more bricks. Genuinely feared for my safety. I went over and we got in an argument so I slept on the floor essentially. I went to the bathroom to text one of my buddies to come pick me up since I thought she had fallen asleep. I suddenly get a text from her saying where are you? And my phone made a sound. I froze up and opened the bathroom door and she was already standing there waiting for me in the darkness. She didn't say a word at all, just stared at me until I walked by. I went back to my spot on the floor and got under the blanket and pretended to be going asleep until she did. After about 30 minutes I decided to peek out from under the covers and, she was literally towering over me in total darkness with her eyes wide open the entire time. I got the fuck out of there so fast. Jesus Christ, it's like a sleep paralysis demon but real. I had a very long and toxic relationship with an ex. I had wanted to leave for years, but he would threaten to kill himself and I would end up staying. I finally got the courage to walk away when I was diagnosed with several benign liver tumors and was told by the doctor that it was very important with this type of tumor to immediately and permanently stop taking hormonal birth control. I researched it on my own and confirmed the single most important thing I could do to avoid further complications was to stop taking hormonal birth control for good. I told my, then husband, about the appointment and he said, so calmly, well that's going to be a problem. I was like, what do you mean? I'll go to the gyno as soon as I can get an appointment and we can just use condoms until then. Nope. Condoms were unacceptable because we were married. And not having sex until I got to the gyno was also unacceptable. What really made my blood run cold though, was when he suggested that I should continue to take birth control as normal and just not tell the doctor. He'll never know, he said. Then he went on to suggest maybe I could go on and off birth control so I'd be off of it before any follow up appointments with this doctor, to ensure that he'd never know. I was totally stunned and I just looked at him and said you understand this could kill me? This isn't about placating a doctor, this is about my life. He just shrugged and said he wasn't using condoms and I needed to figure it out. I did figure it out. I left him more than a decade ago and have never been happier.